Hey guys, what's up? Paul Niyama, Muscle Building Foods, HQ.com. Holidays are here. Many people are traveling, including myself, and that means it might be very hard to get a good workout, especially if you're going somewhere that doesn't have a gym or if you're staying in a hotel that just has a crappy gym. So here are a few things that I'm bringing with me on my trip that you might want to bring with you on your next trip as well so you don't have to skip a workout. Now, all these things are pretty small. They don't take up a lot of space. They don't weigh a lot so that you're not lugging around a bunch of equipment. Uh, most of these are going to involve body weight and that means that it might be hard to get some pulling exercises because when you're using body weight, you could use push-ups, dips, you could do lunges, you could do squats, working your chest, working your legs, working a lot of body parts, but the pulls are hard to get. So the equipment I bring is gonna address that stuff, it's gonna address some cardio, and it's, it's gonna address some recovery. So here we go. I have all this equipment laid out in front of me. I'm gonna go over all of it with you. There's a couple things that I wanna address when I'm on the road. I wanna be able to get some resistance training, so working my muscles. Obviously, if I don't have a normal gym, I'm not gonna be able to go as heavy and as hard as I would with my normal workouts, but I do wanna make sure that I could get some kind of pump with that. Um, I also got some cardio equipment. I got some stuff that helps with recovery, and I got a few other pieces of equipment as well. Now, first thing I wanna bring up is these. These are resistance bands. There's a lot of different types. You got this tubing type that's really popular, and you got these flat bands. I like these flat bands. Doesn't mean they're better, it's just what I prefer. Uh, I always carry them in my gym bag. You could use them for things like a band pull part to really work that upper back. Really good exercise for the upper back. And it's really good for traveling. Look how small this thing is. Really light too. So it doesn't take up a lot of space. Perfect for going on the road. You also got this heavier type of band, which is a lot of resistance. And you could use this for things like rows and curls. Just make sure that you understand how bands work because the resistance is a little different than a normal exercise. With a normal exercise, like a dumbbell or a cable, you're gonna have a steady resistance through the whole exercise, and as bands expand, the resistance gets a little more. So keep that in mind when you are planning out your workouts. The bands, the resistance is a little different. Helps with a few things. You could also use them in the gym uh, in conjunction with things like your bench press and your deadlift. And my next piece of equipment is this thing right here. This is a suspension trainer. This is a TRX one. This is the most popular suspension trainer. It's also the most expensive. There's other ones out there that uh, work good. I haven't tried them, but this TRX works pretty good. The way it works, if you're not familiar with it, you got one end that attaches to something. Normally it's on like a pull-up bar. There's also a door attachment that comes with this. You could do a railing. Get creative, just make sure it's something steady. Um, the other end has these handles. Where is it? There it is. Okay. So the other end has these handles and you could hold on to it and do things like pull-ups, push-ups, rows. You could just hook these together and do split squats. You could do a lot of core exercises. A lot of different things you could do with this. You could work your biceps, triceps. You could work your full body with this. This is a good piece of equipment. Uh, just make sure you be careful when you're attaching it to a door. You're supposed to attach it to a door that's not opening, that's stopped by that door frame because that's gonna give you a little extra stability. Most hotel gyms are gonna have a door that opens in, so there's no, no door frame there. So you might not be able to use it in your actual hotel room, but if you have one that has a lot of space or if you have a little hotel gym that has like a pull-up bar that's sturdy, that's locked onto something, if you have a stairway, you could attach it to a, uh, what is that, a railing or a tree or something. So this is this is good. You just gotta find a good place to attach it that's gonna support your body weight. It's really small, comes with this little bag, you can stick it in there, ready to go, on the road, perfect. Next thing I wanna address is some cardio. I got a jump rope that I'm gonna bring with me. You could also do burpees or jumping jacks. You don't have to bring anything. I like jump ropes, because it makes you think like I'm Rocky. Yo, Bali! It's really good. You can do some high intensity interval training with it, really get that heart rate up and really burn a lot of calories. Really good for that heart and fat burning as well. I got a leather one, I got a plastic one. Uh, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna bring yet, but I'm gonna bring one of them and do a little cardio. Issue with the jump ropes is you might not be able to do it in a hotel room because it might have a low ceiling and you might hit it or there just might not be enough space in that room. So you might have to do this outside or somewhere, but uh, jump rope, good piece of equipment. Doesn't take up a lot of space, really cheap and uh, 
perfect for going traveling. When I'm on the road, sitting in a car, not good. I want to be able to stretch. One of the best stretching tools is a little lacrosse ball. What this does is it's going to dig into your muscles and release a lot of the tight muscles that you have, release a lot of the toxins that are stuck in those muscles. So it's going to help increase your flexibility, help you to feel good, and just help you to move better. Lacrosse balls work really good for those places that need a little more tension and you need to dig in a little bit more. You also got your traditional foam roller and a PVC pipe. I like the PVC pipe because it's harder, it doesn't give, it's also cheap. So the good thing about a PVC pipe, if you don't want to travel with one because it does take up a little space, you could go to a hardware store and get it for, I bought this one for about two bucks. So get it for real cheap and then you don't have to worry about it if you leave it at your, where you went to vacation. So this foam, uh, PVC pipe pretty good. Foam roller I'm not gonna bring with me but this foam roller pretty much the same thing. It's a little softer so if you can't take a PVC pipe, foam rolls work pretty good. This one though does have a PVC pipe inside because this white stuff, this white foam, it gets pretty soft pretty quickly. So. What this PVC pipe does is it keeps it firm as it gets soft. So if you need a little more padding for this, for your myofascial release, this is a good way to go. Next thing that I'm bringing is some grippers. Now I like grip strength. I think grip strength helps everything, helps all the exercises that you do in the gym. So increasing your grip strength is something that's important to me. I'm gonna bring some grippers as well. Now these aren't those cheap plastic ones that you'll find in a sporting goods store. These are metal, I think they're all aluminum, and they have a lot of resistance. This goes from 150 all the way to 350. And when I'm bringing these, I'm bringing three of them. I'm gonna bring the one that I can grip and I can get a good workout with. I'm gonna bring an easier one because I wanna be able to warm up. And I'm gonna bring a harder one so that I could do some negative reps. So it's increasing my strength. Grips, small, fits in a gym bag, fits in a piece of luggage, very simple. And I'm also gonna bring these. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use it because what these are, fat grips and little extreme fat grips. What these do is they wrap around a bar to make the bar thicker so that it makes it harder to grip. So it increases the difficulty of any exercise, especially a pulling exercise, like a deadlift or a curl or something. And if I go to the gym, and it's a hotel gym that doesn't have a lot of weight. These fat grips can really help to increase the difficulty, help me to get a good workout with just a normal gym. And then I got these extreme ones too that are really, really fat. That is it, that is all I'm bringing with me. If you wanna check out any of these products, you can go to the article I linked. I put um, Amazon links to all these products out there. So if you wanna get any for yourself, check them out. I hope you like this video. And if you did, please click on the like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm doing a lot more videos. And if you want me to talk about something specific, leave a comment in the section below and I'll be sure to address it. You could also reach out to me on social media. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter. And if you haven't already, make sure you get my ebook. A lot of people make mistakes in the gym. This book corrects it. So hopefully you read it, hopefully you get it, and you can maximize your efficiency in the gym and with your nutrition. That is it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Paul Niyama, Muscle Building Foods, HQ.com.